Hi y'all, it's Curious Raven. Again, we are doing the true crime. I do want to put a disclaimer that some things that I do talk about on here are gruesome and explicit. Not for everybody. Just know that sometimes these things can not be for the faint of heart. Just listening to it freaks them out. So just keep that in mind, especially if you have your children around. I actually went down a rabbit hole on YouTube. I like true crime videos and 60 minute crime videos. Also, I started watching this one guy I really like. His name on YouTube is Mr. Ballin and he tells really good stories. So I would go check him out. Also, did everybody see the collab that I did with Lady Spookaria and As the Raven Dreams? They did an amazing job. I love doing narrations like that because I can put more emotion into it. Um, it's kind of like acting, sort of. And I don't know, it just sounds really good. I like that. But, you know, this is me just talking about a bad murder. This one is a little, I would say, it's more of not a heinous crime, but a malicious crime. Backstory, okay? This happened in the year 2012. This young man, he was 19, and he lived in Pennsylvania. His name is Daniel Klinger. He had a girlfriend named Sammy Heller. She was 17. Leading up to this, she really liked this guy. Seemed like he was everything that she wanted. But, you know, things took a bad turn, and he ended up being crazy. You know those narcissistic people where they say, oh, if you leave me, I'm going to kill myself. That's kind of how, like, this guy was. He was pushing her into walls and threatening her that he's going to kill her. He even threatened her that the next time they got in the car, he was just going to run into something and kill both of them because she tried to get away from him. She said no. She put her foot down, said, I'm going to get away from him. And her mother still does not know how he actually got her to go with him. He was a manipulator. I'm sorry, y'all. This one isn't going to be very long. It's kind of just didn't have a lot of working parts. He was a bad guy. Didn't want her to leave him. And he, for a while, she did leave him. But, you know, he played her and manipulated her and got her to get in the car. It was December 4th when they got a call in from a truck driver that was driving past when he saw the wrecked vehicle. He got out and what he stated to the, the dispatcher is that he heard a girl, that would be Samantha, Sammy, crying and screaming. And then he saw this man sitting on top of her head. Now, let me kind of explain how this went. He was doing about 115 miles per hour at nighttime. And he ran into a guardrail on purpose. He wanted it to look like an accident. Both of them die. You know, he gets what he wants. He, he's the type, well, if no one can have, if I can't have you, no one can. Um, he's really sick. He's a sick asshole. Well, how it displayed was that Sammy was face down on the ground, but she was like kind of halfway hanging into the car, halfway not. She had her front half on the ground. Like she was trying to crawl out of the car. She was screaming and crying. So she was still alive. When the trucker saw that her boyfriend, Benjamin, was sitting on top of her head and torso, smothering her. He tried to say that, oh, that's how he landed. But the investigators said, no, you had your seatbelt on. You had to take your seatbelt off. You had to crawl across her seat to then go sit on her face. Well, on her head. And then her face was pushed into the ground and she was smothering. Well, get this shit. This is what I don't get. I meant, what moron? What moron? This truck driver, he called the police, okay? And they said, you know, it's standard. Are people hurt? Yes. Don't move them. Okay. It's common sense. You see this mother effer sitting on top of this girl's head and she is being suffocated. I think maybe the guy was just scared. I swear to God, if it was me, I would have done already tackled that MF over and got that baby safe. I just... The guy did. The trucker guy. He did what they told him to do. 
They said, don't move them. And guess what? She died. She died. She got smothered to death by this psycho. Complete, true psycho. I, I'm sorry. I'm just so baffled about how he planned this. He got her in the car. That's like someone's worst nightmare is when someone else is suicidal and they want to take you down with them. So they run into a guardrail. And when you both don't die, then they come out and kill you anyways. Eventually, her boyfriend, and actually confessed that yes, he did intentionally kill his girlfriend. The investigator said that Benjamin tried to say that he was acting like he was going in and out of conscious, like he didn't know what he was doing. But then they found out that, yeah, that was a lie. He knew what he was doing. Oh, get this. And Sammy might have been pregnant with Klinger's baby. From the car, the detectives, they recovered marijuana cash, a digital scale, a pipe, pills, and a black air pistol. Benjamin Klinger was charged with aggravated assault, drug offenses, and driving violation. Supposedly, Sammy sent him some, you know, nudes, and he actually sent these nudes to his friends. Separately, he faces a charge of disseminating explicit sexual materials to a minor from allegedly sending out photos and video of Sammy. So he's being charged. He's so disgusting. Also, it was verified by a doctor that, yes, the cause of death was from someone smothering her. In 2014, Klinger was sentenced to 28 to 56 years in prison for Sammy's death. He was charged to third-degree murder. Me, this guy should have got first-degree murder and life in prison. He took away this innocent child's life. Just sometimes I know it's hard to get away from a narcissistic type of person. They make you feel like everything's your fault and that they won't hurt you again. There needs to be more awareness about this kind of stuff. But this one stood out to me when I was looking true crime videos about how she was just trying to live and he was determined to kill her. I hope he rots in prison. All right, y'all. I'm not sure which murder case I'm going to do. Maybe I'll do a, a mystery one. You know, one that has been unsolved. I'm not sure if y'all would actually like that, but we'll see how it goes. There are monsters out there in the world. Just remember, watch your back. Don't trust everyone. Be wary of people. Alright, I know this wasn't a very long video, sorry about that, but I wanted to tell y'all about this because it's freaking sad. It's kind of like having her memory live on. I hope her family found peace and... Alright y'all, please tune back in on Friday. Any other time you want to listen to my videos. I usually put out around two to three videos a week, it just depends on how busy I am. Remember, please go like and subscribe to my channel and comment down below if you want me to talk about any type of true crime. If you're interested in learning more about something, I will go down a big rabbit hole and get all the information and bring it back here and talk about it. Remember, it's scary out there.